YouTube, it's Louis here. I hope you're all well. We're taking a look at Elrond today, or shall I say Multiverse X. I want to say a shout out to Crypto Ghost. His out is Miami Kane Crypto. Go check him out. He, he made me aware that Elrond is actually rebranding as Multiverse X. It shifts towards uh, the metaverse essentially. The blockchain developer announced it will transform into Multiverse X as it shifts focus to the metaverse development and introduce three new products. So the blockchain technology developer Elrond announced it will redefine itself and focus on the metaverse. The company will move forward under the new name Multiverse X with the introduction of X Fabric, X Portal and X Worlds. These three new tools are behind the rebrand, all of which will aim to help the metaverse creators and users. These tools include a metaverse portal, digital assets holder, creator utilities and a deployable blockchain module. The CEO has said, we are now in the position to create a larger path towards growth, adoption and utility for the real world and the metaverse. And further comments that in order to create a masterpiece, you have to look at the world differently and make bold strokes. The community has always appreciated when we've made these giant leaps forward. So I think that he's seeing an opportunity in the metaverse space as in the quarter three report of uh, DAP Radar revealed that blockchain games and metaverse projects combined raised 1.3 million in venture capital investments in July to September timeframe. According to the same report, metaverse infrastructures, uh, infrastructure projects made up over 36% of, uh, percent of investments for that quarter. So yeah, big things going forward for Elrond. So yeah, let's dive into, or should I say Multiverse X? Let's dive into Multiverse X then. Or should I keep calling it E-Gold? <laughs> I don't know what to call it now. Yeah, so anyway, for Multiverse X, so let's d d dive into Multiverse X right now. We know that we need to be holding this $45 support essentially. And uh, if you remember from yesterday's update, we were making it clear that... Um, essentially you're okay to dump to here you just can't lose it and it looks like we're really pressuring to actually close below this now if we do see a daily candle close below 50 as we said yesterday then of course we're going to uh, ex expect a further dump to 45. i remember some people in the comments actually talking about this specific scenario so credits to them of course here on the channel we take it step by step we say of course if we're closing above this high we're going up but if we lose it we know we're going down, especially let's say when you break above a high, that should be confirmed as support. You fail to do so, you break under it. It's essentially a fake out. It's a move that it means that it doesn't want to go up. Essentially, it wants to come back down. But as long as we're holding this uptrend structure, as we said yesterday, this uh, these EMAs over here, if we're following them, then we should continue up. But we had already lost them. And so the main thing here is holding that higher low between 53 and 50. So if we could actually hold above 53 of the daily close, that would be amazing because you've uh, felt some sort of demand, suppression upwards, so to say, because you're being pushed up. At the moment, you wick down all the way to $50 and actually a little bit below. But your uh, $50 is a psychological level as well as it uh, being this uh, support and a higher low over here on the left. So this is why we're getting at least some sort of reaction. I do really would I really would like to see the reclaim of fifty three dollars on the daily time frame today. Otherwise, chances are we're trapped in in within this gold box, and we are going to continuously try to break the low of it, heading uh, uh trying to head lower back to forty five dollars again. If we ever do lose forty five dollars. This is the, the time that you'd eventually uh, validate further downside. I will be getting the fibs out right now for you guys over here. From the lowest point to the highest point, we've, we're seeing it dump. So that's very fair to put the fibs on now. And what's interesting is actually that we're currently at the 618.51.80 uh, cent. So we need to confirm that as support, guys. Really, I'm more focused on that $50. I just need to hold above this wick over here on the left over here which we set out yesterday. So really yesterday we wanted to close above 53. We did get that close, but with what's going on in the market at the moment with the war between Binance and FTX, I'm guessing Binance, <laughs> this, what I'm about to say, I have no idea, okay? This is, I'm agreeing, this is actually picked out my bum hole, some of it. So Binance, I know this is a fact, but Binance is looking to sell $500 million worth of FTT token. I'm not going to go into why you can go research that. It's all over Twitter. I don't know. You're, you're living under a rock if you're not aware at the moment, but that's why we're seeing this dump. So I believe that Sam Bank Freedom, whatever his fucking name is, I really don't care. But um, 
F yeah, the FTX CEO essentially, I think he's just throwing the toys out the pram and selling a lot a bunch of crypto. I also know that ugh, he did help um, uh, uh, stop us going down when um, Celsius was about to get bankrupt. He was buying up um, some Celsius, but yeah, look how that ended. And it looks like, yeah, this is like a Luna 2.0 <laughs> FTT. But enough of that. I was just bringing your awareness to this because, uh, and the, the thing that I was saying was picked out my bum was the fact that Sam Bankman, Fried, uh, whatever his fucking name is, uh, he's potentially throwing the toys out the pram and selling cryptos because he's a, yeah, let's not get into it. <laughs> but yeah, forgetting that, Elrond, essentially that's the reason why we're dumping, we're seeing it across crypto. I would really suggest if you do actually go head over to my Bitcoin update from earlier today. I did make some posts on Twitter as well, so go check out my Twitter, Louis underscore crypto. But yeah, Bitcoin needs to hold the 2017 high 19,666. If we can do so, then Elrond should hold this $50 support going forward. The moment we're closing below this $50 support, you're already starting to lose this uptrend structure. It looks like that if you were to lose this, no higher though, that's not an uptrend. That means there's no point in this bullish cross here, which we've been holding, and this could become another effing fake out. Over here, we had a fake out. We got above the EMAs and fell back under and confirmed them as resistance. So really and truly, we don't want to confirm it as resistance. If we confirm it as resistance, it's a signal you want to go lower. So we really need to get back above those EMAs. First step is holding $50 and working our way back up. So yeah, so there's a lot of work to do now that we actually have lost the EMAs. It's not good. That, that, that's the first step you never want to see because we formed a bullish cross. You are holding it consistently, continuing our trend, unfortunately closing under the 55. You don't want to see that. This is our double brick wall. So really and truly, this is our only uh, final defense before we know, yes, we're tanking towards $45. And a loss of $45 will result in a $30 and a potential $20 technical target for uh, Multiverse X, we should now say. So thank, you, so thank you for tuning in to today's update. I know it's a bit shorter, or is it actually a, might even be the same time, but felt like the TA was shorter, but it was because we were doing some fundamental analysis for the first time on the channel, but really, it's not my, it's not my place. Before that, I'd, li I'd like to stick to the TA. But yeah, it's very interesting how we, yeah, we're seeing a rebrand as Multiverse X for Elrond. Thank you guys for watching like subscribe and comment please share it if you want to send in a super thanks please also do so check out the memberships i also have a giveaway at the moment that's going to be coming in the next days for reaching 4,000 subscribers over here on youtube that will be on my twitter louis underscore crypto and uh yeah i also do have a 50 percent offer on that course at the moment if you just want to take action thank you guys like subscribe and comment and as always peace